100 Thieves is the team in this episode. Did they steal the offseason? Is Bang the big acquisition that's going to send them over the top? Is Huey going to be a star mid laner for them? Ryu moves to the coaching position, and this team looks solid. So watch the rest of this video to see what we think. Of course, if you like any part of it, do consider following me on different social media stuff, whichever one's your favorite. I am trying to become a professional shoutcaster, so helping me out that way is one of the easiest ways to help me achieve my dreams. All right, thanks. Let's watch the video. 100 Thieves finished third place last last split. They move on from Meteos. Um, they had already done that, so Onda is still there. Um, in the mid lane, they move on from Ryu, and they get Huhi. And then their big splash they made, Cody Sun gone, bang in here. Former SKT player, former world champion, former pretty much everything Piglet was when Piglet first came here. So it makes you scared, but I like Bang. So this I, I think this is like if I if I like this is one of those teams where like if I was in charge of you know as a fan and I had like an open budget, mm -hmm. this is like the perfect pickups across the board in my opinion. Yeah, like because he did such a good job in yeah. the off season. Yeah, Huey is an because... NA resident now. Yep. So they're able to. And he speaks Korean. And he speaks Korean, so he's able to like communicate with Bang coming over here, and and someday's English is actually getting pretty good too. But still, like obviously, someday probably prefers to speak Korean, so they're gonna be able to make that happen. And so Huey and Aphromoo having synergy already. If Aphromoo shot calling, Huey's gonna be like, trust me, Aphromoo knows what he's talking about. Let's all do this. Obviously, he's saying that in Korean to the, to his players. And then Anda's gonna be like, K. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, like, keep keep in mind that that like somebody does speak English on some level because they worked last yeah. year. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and and he's been in Dignitas before that. So it's he mostly has to have some. It's sort mostly of... for Bang. But but, but yeah. Bang surprised me. Like him at uh, All, -Stars. Um, All Stars was surprising because I didn't think I didn't know he sp spoke so well English. Like, yeah, actually, English. I didn't know that. I was, like, that, that, that really and though. as I kind of fumbled that sentence grammatically, <laughs> as, like, as you don't he, speak English. <laughs> <laughs> but like I, I don't think there's like this level of like oh we have to teach bang english before he's good right like, yeah. i actually think that like there might be some like hiccups but i think that comparatively to other koreans like crown that they brought in who uh i don't know how much english he speaks if at all right i think there's like a great starting point where it's like okay they're, they're fine yeah like, especially and since i actually think it's nice that they brought in ryu as a secondary yeah coach. ryu Ryu's does stay on the team as a coach exactly um, and I, I would, uh, and the other interesting thing to do, I was actually recently watched a video on, on translators. It's actually an interesting thing. Apparently just translating language is actually one of the most taxing things you could do to the brain. Even if you're purely bilingual and you're super good at it, translating one language to, a, to, a, to another, um, like translators, when they're at an events, they have to switch every two hours because they're just exhausted. Like they just can't do mm -hmm. it anymore. So it's like it's kind of like a, this crazy thing where it's like, um, uh, let's say yeah, let's say Hugh he let's, let's just say someday and Bang had no English to them and he literally had to translate the whole game. Imagine that tax on top of having to play League of Legends and keep track of everything. Especially since Hugh is such a roaming mid laner too, so he's not a guy who's just sitting there farming. He's trying to go around and make things happen. Like it would be crazy, but because like you said, Bang does have a decent amount of English and someday has already been in this league for a while and his English is. Has has gone has gone pretty darn crazy good. There's gonna be times where they're just gonna want to prefer to speak Korean because like if we spoke other language, we would probably just want to default to English every once in a while. So it's just gonna be a nice mm -hmm. nice comfort. I like there's there's so many things that about um, how they have it there, especially with like Ryu still there as a coach. There's there's all this nice comfort that I think that's gonna be available there. That's gonna just allow these players to play how they can play. Like, Someday can mm -hmm. be the best top player in this league, um, and Aphromoo could be the best support in this league, and then they can just kind of, like, push this team forward. And again, Bang, obviously, we don't know how, like, Bang coming in here, because last time this happened, again, was the best example is Piglet, and Piglet has basically been a flop, but somehow he's still in the league. Or, or Sven but, coming over. Or Sven yeah. coming over, but, like, I, I just the, it's, it's purely that like, the Korean coming over is why you can make the direct comparison. So it's like it's there. There are still quite like it's not a slam dunk. This is the best team in the league, especially since like we haven't talked about Team Liquid yet. But like, they're, 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 but it might be not even a slam dunk that they're top two. But they're gonna be pretty damn good. Like, so I'm I'm pretty. I, I, yeah, I don't see a weak point in this team. Yeah. Like, like you've kind of brushed over everything already. But like w with this team, like like I said, I feel like they they fixed all the holes they had, mm -hmm. and they kind of fixed them in huge ways. Mm -hmm. Like. I think that the 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 resident mid laner in Huhi is is amazing, and I think that that Huhi is is 
is probably the best resident mid laner right now. Like, I, I would argue, like, Pull Baldur, who he is, is kind of viable Beardson. as... <laughs> oh, sorry, yes, you're right. I, I don't know why I blanked that Beardson's a resident mid laner. Saw, yeah, right, but right. anyway. <laughs> but, like, all, all, the, all the ones that you could have gotten. Yeah, yeah, like, okay, fair enough. Is... That you realistically could have yeah. grabbed. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, there was no chance of getting Bjergsen, but getting Paul Belter, who he, I think who he is the better of the two, especially yeah. with the, um, who he obviously is close friends with Alpha Moo. Mm -hmm. And I, what I love about who he is that, who he has these weird kind of like a really insult, you know, like, yeah. like this weird kind of stuff. And I think with who he, and some people, like, I don't know what it is with Reddit, but Reddit and, and a lot of people seem to see who he as like a shitty player at times. The thing with who he is, who he at his worst is still like a very solid player yeah. but who he at his best is like top two top three he's yeah. just this weird like he he has these ups and downs he um, sometimes transforms metas which is such a yes. rare thing right so the, he forces you to ban something's dumb he forces you to change the way you want to play which just like that takes you off the game like we were talking earlier how um uh, we're talking about uh echo Fo or sorry we were talking about teams we're talking about Zix. Yeah, we were talking about Team Solo mid, and we were talking about how sometimes you just get to play your style, and you, like if you have teams that are maybe more in your style, um, that will that will be better for you. Huhi sometimes forces you not to play your style, and yeah. uh, that's that that like whatever mechanically, whatever you're doing things, that is such a big strategic potential advantage. And, and what's huge about this team, uh, like not just the focus on Huhi, is that they don't have a weakness in any of the three lanes. Nope. Like, like if the meta goes to top lane, you have someday, arguably one of the top two or, or best top laner in the league. Mm -hmm. If your meta goes to mid lane, who he can definitely hold his own. If it goes to bot lane, you have Bang and Aphromoo, who, aside from possible synergistic issues or language issues, yeah. are both star players. Mm -hmm. And Anda has really, really impressed me, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with his performance. Like, he, he was someone who, when he was brought in, it was kind of like, oh, ew, like... I'm not excited for him replacing Meteos, but he's he within one split. I I like he did not come in as a strong player, but within one split, he is now like a great jungler. And as we saw at Worlds, and it was kind of like their best mm -hmm. part. Like yeah. he played really well, and he played really aggressive, which is mm -hmm. really exciting to see from a rookie player. Yeah. Um. So I, I actually think this team. There's no way I'm gonna say like, and maybe I'll be you know eating my words, but I think there's no way this team doesn't make playoffs. Like, oh I yeah, just, I yeah. don't see it. Uh, they're, they're, it. Same. I think there's no way they don't make playoffs. I also think they're you're, they're pretty easily they they probably at least keep their top three spot. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll 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 see what happens there. And that's what we thought of the hundred thieves. Do you agree with us? Do you agree that they're still a top three team? Or at least a playoff team? Do you think they're even out of the playoffs? If you actually think that, I would love to know what you think and we'd have a discussion about it. Of course, if you missed the last video, you can check out the last video on Echo Fox right there. You can also follow me on different social media platforms and you can also subscribe to this channel for great esports content. And that's it for today. We're going to be back tomorrow with Cloud9. See you then.